When people talk to each other like they're doing here, you call it communication. Information is perceived immediately. Once there was a time when people who were separated by distance had to write letters in order to keep in touch. Information was first received days or even weeks later. With today's ever-changing lifestyles, it has become more common that people have to live and work apart. But with the invention of the telephone, they were able to talk to each other whatever the distance. Telephones became smaller and more mobile, but still it was not possible to see each other while speaking. And then there was the internet. People began to write letters again, so-called emails. They could be received seconds later. Photos could be sent or even whole songs could be attached. Finally, people started to make phone calls on the internet and they could even see each other. Well, with little success. But here comes the technological revolution from Fraunhofer IIS. What's that? That is the Fraunhofer Institute for Integrated Circuits. And who are those people? These are the cool guys who invented the MP3 and they co-developed the AAC. Wow. Uh, actually, what is the technological revolution now? Again, it was the Fraunhofer IIS. They invented the ACE, the audio communication engine. Fascinating. Does that mean we can beam anti love to us back home just like Scotty? <gasps> well, perhaps one day. But we can definitely talk to Auntie Liv just as if she was here with us. Cool. Just like that? Yes, really easy and all at the touch of a button. Auntie! Hello, darling. Nice to see you. Mommy, can Auntie stay for a couple of days? No, she can't, really sweetheart. Good. Yeah, like I told you, it's Why? the communication engine. Because she's not really wow. here. Yes. Brilliant, clear. Yeah, that Please, can she stay for dinner? Kodak. No, she can't, honey. Why not? Because she's on the screen, sweetie.